They spent 90 minutes on the phone tonight, but nobody's yet made the final call. Significant differences were discussed and will be again in person, with Prime Minister now set to meet President this week in a last effort to do a deal. Is a, is a deal still possible? We're still working very hard. Even at this late hour, the masks aren't slipping. The UK's negotiator bargaining in Brussels, while his EU counterpart advised ambassadors. Even ministers made an appearance. Are you any closer to a deal, Mr Gove? But still no compromise was spotted. We are really at a very delicate point in these negotiations now, and without political intervention from the very top, uh, i.e. from the Prime Minister and the President, uh, then I think people are increasingly pessimistic uh, that the negotiating teams can get this concluded successfully. But earlier, compromise was not the word in Westminster. We are making every effort to secure a deal. That is, the, that is our aim. That is what everyone, I think, in this House uh, would want. But that deal must respect the United Kingdom's sovereignty. Those things are not up for uh, compromise. Uh, we will not compromise. The sticking points are, as they've always been, how much access should European fishing boats have to British waters? Should there be a level playing field, meaning the UK and EU follow similar rules when it comes to things like environmental and employment standards to ensure fair competition? And how should any disputes be resolved in future? None of those things have moved on since Friday. In fact, tonight, a government source said we've made no tangible progress. There's every chance we're not going to get there. That pessimism yet to produce any new pragmatism about how to close the gap. Order. This evening, Order. MPs may have widened it. The eyes to the right, 357. This was them voting for the Internal Market Bill, the one that potentially breaks international law when it comes to Brexit. The government's trying again to push it through. The eyes have it, the eyes have it. But did promise today to pull the controversial clauses if a deal's done. Though some remain sceptical about the Prime Minister's presentation. Do you think this visit to Brussels by the Prime Minister might be as much a sign that there won't be a deal then as an effort to actually get one? He will certainly have in mind that if he goes, he will say, I did my best. They have an audience back home that needs to be kept on side. So in traditional European negotiations, both sides give the impression that they are the reasonable ones. They're making concessions. And the other guy is wholly unreasonable and being obdurate. Tonight, though, the lights are still on in Downing Street and also in Brussels. The chance of a deal hasn't yet been extinguished. Paul Brand, News at 10.